On 23rd February 2024, Pakistan joined over 50 countries in advancing its argument in the historic proceeding being conducted by the International Court of Justice to rule on the illegal occupation of Palestinian territories by Israel. Pakistan was represented by its law minister, Ahmed Infarn Aslam, who reiterated the country's stance. He stressed that not only is Israel's occupation illegal, but allowing it to derive any benefits from such actions would undermine the ICJ's role in upholding justice. Pakistan's stance can be divided into five legal arguments. First is the question of self-determination. While delivering the statement on behalf of Pakistan, Mr. Aslam highlighted that Israeli occupation continued to severely impede the exercise of the right to self-determination by the Palestinians. This right is codified in two of the United Nations Human Rights Conventions and is an essential principle of contemporary international law. Additionally, it was highlighted that Israel's occupation and attempts to annex Palestinian territories are illegal under international law. Despite the UN Council security resolutions condemning the occupation and the illegality of acquiring territory by force, Israel's settlement policy aims to create an irreversible situation. Pakistan claims that Israeli policies and practices amounted to systematic racial discrimination and apartheid against the Palestinians, as evident from the restricted movements, demolitions and preferential treatment from Israeli settlers. The minister also reiterated the distinct status of Jerusalem and the significance of safeguarding its sacred sites for all faiths within the established historical framework. Israel is clearly in contravention of this principle, as it is hindering access to religious sites for both Christians and Muslims. Pakistan firmly supported a just and peaceful resolution of the Palestine issue based on the two-state solution, which centers around the establishment of an independent state of Palestine alongside the state of Israel in the region west of the Jordan River. Mr. Aslam highlighted the importance of adhering to the relevant UN resolutions which emphasize the importance of negotiations leading to this solution while complying with international law. In order to support its stance, Pakistan relied on several legal principles such as the obligations of cessation and non-repetition pursuant to which Israel must cease its action if the court finds it to be in breach of its obligations. The advisory opinion of Namibia was also included, which serves as a reference point for understanding the illegality of prolonged occupation and its consequences. The ICJ hearings have witnessed various delegations denouncing Israel's action, with allegations ranging from colonialism to ethnic cleansing and genocide. However, Israel has disregarded the legitimacy of the ICJ's advisory proceedings and is advocating for a political resolution to the conflict over a legal one.